Now, if you're tuning into this episode, you're also thinking about how can we improve quests? Now, before we talk about that, we're going to do one thing first. Today is our seventh day in the quest line. I already know what's going to happen because sadly, I already seen the spoilers, right? But here we are. We're going to claim the field research box for the second week in a row, right? 2000. I didn't put my um, star piece, but mysterious Pokemon is going to appear and here we have our second Moltres. Everyone was thinking that Maybe they're going to swap it out, you know, they're going to try something new. But it seems like Moltres is going to be here for maybe another week. Maybe this is... The month of April is for Moltres. 1358 is... Crap, man. Have any of your Moltres ran away up to this point? If they have, do let me know because I am very curious if these legendary Pokemon are actually, you know, escapable. Pineapple Berry on a double candy, that should give me 12. Nice. Okay, so the topic in hand, how to make quests better than it already is. And actually, to be honest, that's only one thing we can do to make it all better. Like seriously, that's only one thing to do. And that is... Make everything random. Oh God, don't attack me. Now don't get me wrong, right? The current quest line is perfectly fine, but the problem is the reward. Because if the reward is always static with the very predictable like Pokemon that you're going to get, it just feels very much like you're trapped you know, with the same amount of rewards. So it's not that fun after a long period of time because it's very predictable. So this is the part of the vlog where I will tell you the spoilers up ahead. So if you don't want to see the next section, which is basically the rewards for each of the quests, you should pause right now and move forward to the next section. I'll give you like a few seconds. Okay, now my pants is all ruined. Okay, you can just go. Go, go, go. Okay, time's up. This is what I mean. So if you look at the screen here, right, this is all the possibility of the quests and their rewards in terms of random Pokemon that is going to appear. For every of the quests, right, there is only one or sometimes, you know, three, maybe, yeah. Battle in the gym, there's like seven possibilities of random spawns, right? But seven is still a very, very isolated kind of choices. You know what I mean? If you're ever going to battle like a catch three Pidgeys, right, or catch three Meowth or three flying types or fire types, right? You're going to get only one of the type of the Pokemon, right? So with that said, right? It feels very like after a long, after a while, you're going to feel that it's very predictable and oh, I don't do this quest because the random spawn that is going to come out is just not worth it, right? The only good one I see here is this one. Win five raids, which is a Typhlosion. Why can't they make it like what well, any of the starters final evolution for all three gens, right? Like the Charizard, Blastoise, Venusaurs, right? But here's my suggestion for this, right? Make all the catch random Pokemon, right? Be random, as in like very random. So here's what I mean. So let's say for example, we can make it such a way that the more easier quests, like maybe catch three PGs, right? You will have a very low chance of encountering, let's say a Dragonite, correct? But you have a high encounter rate of catching maybe like a simple like a Vulpix or something like that. There's a random number to it. Right, but the harder the quest is, right, you have a higher chance of encountering a much rarer Pokemon like a Charizard, a Dragonite, a Tyranitar, you know. It's random. You don't know what's going to happen, man. But you will still be able to encounter like some of those very um, common Pokemon which you're not really into and stuff. But that is the random factor here, right? At least we have a chance to encounter any of the wild Pokemon from these catches, right? So that is my point. So I feel like this questing is good. It's just that this random Pokemon thing is no longer random anymore. It says wow and a question mark, right? There's no question mark to that. We already know what's going to come out if you follow this list, right? So I was hoping that maybe in the future Niantic can like remove all this and then they'll just make a random marker. Like you finish this quest, random Pokemon, you'll just generate a number and bam, something will come out and catch that, right? So I think that is much better in my opinion. So let, let me know what you guys think about this suggestion, right? Because quite frankly, if you look at the list here, the only good ones I see is like a Larvitar, a Typhlosion. Quite frankly, there's really not much. Maybe there's like a Dratini, you know, Chansey perhaps. Yeah, that's, that's about it, you know. But maybe this is just the first draft of how Niantic is coming up with this quest system, right? But maybe over time and stuff, they will implement more or I don't know. I just really hope they implement the random thing that I'm talking about. So you can do any quest and get any random Pokemon anytime. That's just my thought, you know. <sighs> All 
Alright, so the second part of this video is that we are going to do something very new which is something I should have done a long time ago but you know, I just never did. We are going to try to find a Mewtwo. So we are here right now at a X-rate gym and how I know it's an X-rate gym because I went on Facebook and WhatsApp group and stuff right for my location and I asked around and I asked like where is the X-rate usually happening like in terms of the gyms in the place that I'm staying at and they gave me a list of all the gyms and stuff and right now I was hoping there will be an egg tier 1, tier 2 doesn't matter right then I can find it and hopefully you know this qualifies me for one of the x-ray passes and stuff but unfortunately right now I cannot really fight this gym whatsoever but I do want to talk about the fact that I realized that all the gym that was listed down right I never fought in any of them because they were never in my way or along the way from for my usual route when I go to places right so these are very new gyms for me so I guess that makes a lot of sense why I never got any x-ray passes because you kind of have to figure out exactly which gym is active so if I never went out and asked around like I have been for the past I don't know the longest time I would never be able to get an x-ray pass I still don't have yet by the way but I'm hoping that with this knowledge now I'm gonna keep trying to fight in this gym one day maybe one of these weeks I'm finally gonna get my Mewtwo x-ray pass and we're gonna get some content for Mewtwo for the time being, um, hit up a couple of Latios Raid, not Latias Raid, I'm sorry. If there is a chance that there is uh, any tier egg on any of the X Raid gyms, right? We'll go do that. Come on. Okay, hold up guys. Let's rewind this clip because there's something I have to show you. Just now, when I went out to try to find an X-rate gym, I actually encountered two tier 5 raid boss. Here's what happened. A series of unfortunate events occurred right after the other, which caused me to not be able to catch any of the Latias. So, check this out. So right now, we are in one of the tier 5 raids. So the first one, it's not really an X-rate gym, but it's just a normal Latias. And then after that, when I got into the raid, my internet decided to disconnect. Network error. Please don't be disconnected. Connect. Connect. Connect your best. Connect. What's the internet? That. I'm gonna walk around. Okay. And then after that, I could not reconnect anymore because we were rushing to our X rate, which is like a little bit. We kind of had to drive like about five minutes away from it, so we were kind of rushing. So let's move on to the second part. So here we are at the X rate gym. So right now we are inside an X rate gym for the first time, and yeah, this is our very first chance of getting a Mewtwo rate pass. Now, when we were fighting, I realized that we're not doing enough damage. That means that people left. So. After that, well, I tried to leave the fight. My game crashed and I tried to get in. I was too late. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, I was not able to fight this gym, but I'm going to try for the next week. Yeah, that was just my rant because, to be honest, I was kind of upset when that all happened, you know? Internet problem, phone crashing. I don't know. I think that a lot of people actually face this issue when you're living in a sort of not too congested area of Pokemon Go players is that once people, once the egg hatch, right, you can only go in immediately or within a five minutes time frame and after that no one joins anymore. Like usually, I want to say 80% of the time, no one joins anymore. So you have to move on. So that means basically our raids only last for like 10 minutes. That's it. The remaining 30 minutes is just no one joining at all. Now my tomorrow's community day, shiny Marie's everywhere. Very excited about that pink cotton candy of sheeps, you know. So, hope you guys 
tune in for that because I'm going to be filming and hopefully we can get all our shinies and hopefully you guys can too. So, see you guys then.